Hey, what's happening YouTube? How's it going everybody? Thanks for tuning back in to another episode of Aquaporn with me, Steve. Today I'm going to bring you a really cheap, really easy LED lighting project for your aquarium. It's an all do-it-yourself deal. Um, I needed to light 15 aquariums and I was looking for the cheapest, easiest method to do that. And uh, that's what attracted me to this here LED 50-50 ribbon. Now the 50-50 ribbon you can get on eBay, they come in about $8 per roll and you can get them in a variety of colors, 16.4 feet or 5 meters for those of you outside the United States, uh, which is quite a bit for 8 bucks. Now you can, I got like 7 rolls, 7 different colors, uh, this one says blue, uh, I got 7 of those for about $56 and that should be more than enough to put together 15 to 20 lighting systems. Um, I already started the project before I said, oh shit, I should be shooting a video of this to show everybody. Um, now these LEDs, they're not going to grow high demanding, uh, high light demanding plants like uh, like uh, H-Cuba or anything like that, but it, it will uh, do a good job for your crypts, for your java ferns, uh, low light demanding or low tech plants. This, this should do a, a good enough job for that. Now what I did is basically I ran to Home Depot. My favorite aquarium store is Home Depot. I found this gutter flashing. I loved it for the shape. This comes uh, less than $5 for 10 feet. So I just cut them up into the sizes I need. And as you can see, I've already started putting it together. But let's first go back to the power supply you're going to need and the power requirements of the 50-50 LED strips. Now the 50-50 LED strips uh, require 0.36 amps per 12 inches. That's 0.36 amps per 12 inches. So <clears throat> you can get your power supply. Everybody's. Got, I had this laying around. Most people have one of these laying around the house. You need 12 volts not more than 12. 12 volts so this is a 12 volt power supply and it's 2 amps so doing a quick little bit of math 2 amps will run point or I'm sorry 5 feet 5 and a half feet of uh, LED ribbon you can run less but it won't be enough power to run more so that's 0.36 amps again at 12 volts for 12 inches so doing the math I got five and a half feet. Uh, I was able to divide it by three, so that gave me each run here, which is about 22 and a half inches long. Now, just because they say this ribbon won't grow plants or it's not enough light to grow plants, I'm going to give it a color spectrum that's plant friendly. Now, plants photosynthesize using red light and blue light. That's why most plants appear green to us, because they're reflecting the green light back at us. Now if I just used red and blue, it would grow the plants, but it would look like crap to me. So I do have to throw some light in from the green spectrum, uh, some of the yellow and oranges as well. So basically what I did is I got some blue, I've got some cool white, which will be like kind of a bright white. Then I got some soft white, which are gonna have the amber, the yellows, and that type of thing in it. And then I got some straight out red. Now this ribbon is really easy to work with because they give you, let's see if I can get in close here. Right here, it's a little picture. It says, you can cut me here. So you can cut them and fit in colors and you can mix and match colors however you need. Now that's exactly what I did, and then you just solder them here at this point. Now if you're not handy with a soldering iron, they do sell connectors that you can just slip these this ribbon into and it'll connect. But I'm pretty good with a soldering iron, so I just made my cuts and soldered, in them, in, soldered them in here. So <clears throat> to make a plant friendly spectrum, I went with a lot of blue, and then I went with some of the amber and the cool white. It's kind of just, uh, I'm just guessing what it's going to look like. I really don't know. I really didn't do any research on it. But, uh, so when we see it for the first time, you're going to be seeing it when I'm seeing it. 
and we'll see what it looks like and I've got enough of this that I can play around with it swap it out do whatever what have you and uh, you just make your connections at the end here's each ribbon here's my positive and negative and then you just plug it into here you don't have to worry about blowing it up because the only thing that'll happen is it just won't light and if it doesn't light that means you're <clears throat> you're reversed just pull them out and plug them and swap them and this should light up um, I'm gonna plug it in right now and we'll see uh, what it looks like and voila here we are with it all lit up I did have to switch them but uh, it's super easy you just plug and play kind of thing just slap it down and plug it in now like I said the colors are kind of an a uh, experiment I can switch those around as you can see the center I went with blue and then I just mixed in some of the cool white or the warm white ambers and then the cool whites as well and then I threw some red globes in there so let's go see what it looks like on top of a tank now that it's all working okay so first I decided to do a before shot here is my 24 inch 20 gallon tank with my Panduros in it um, this is being lit right now with uh, two T8s, 6500K bulbs. Now let's see what it looks like with the new LED do-it-yourself fixture, which, by the way, only cost me $4 in materials to build after I calculated it all out. And now here's the tank with the new LED fixture on top. Uh, first things that I notice, colors are much more vivid. Lighting intensity, pretty much the same. Pretty much equal as the, the T8s. Uh, you can probably see, I see a lot more purplish in there. If I didn't have so many plants on top, it'd probably look a little better. Let's see if I can flip that away. But it brings out the fish's color a lot more too. So using the different spectrums really helped, but I'm gonna be able to live with this maybe a little more white next time but uh, yeah this was a cheap easy solution four dollars for just this 124 inch uh, lighting rig I'm I'm really happy it's only gonna consume 24 watts and then uh, yeah I can play around with the light and color combinations more but for four bucks what the hell you know Comment, rate, subscribe. We'll catch you next time. Maybe if you want, I'll throw a, uh, together a more detailed uh, video of this build. Catch you next time.